In this Drupal Commerce demo, we'll add a product and then go back and edit it further. Let's start by going to the Commerce drop-down menu, then Products. We're now looking at a list of every product that has been added. We can see the type of product, its published status, when it was last updated, and an operations menu. Let's add a new product. First, we need to select what type of product to add. I'm going to select clothing. Now, we just need to fill out the product fields, starting with the product title. The way this product type has been configured, we have a variety of different fields for adding our content. The output is inserted into a product template. The long description field is an example of a WYSIWYG editor. I can use the editor toolbar to easily format the text. I'll bold and italicize some of the information. Any field that I leave empty will be hidden on the site. Next, I'll select some options for categorizing the new product. Now I'll add some product variations. We first set up the default product information, but the product variations are what a customer would actually buy. I'm adding a women's dress to the site, so the variations of this dress will be its size attribute. In this case, we have pre-configured sizes from small to large. I'll need to add three variations, one for each size. I'll start by adding an image, the product SKU, its price, select a size, and finally, specify the weight of this product variation. Click Create Variation to save it. Next, I'll click Add New Variation to create a new one for the next size. I'll set it up the same, but I'll need to add a unique SKU and select the Next Size attribute. Images can be changed quickly by clicking the Remove button and uploading a new one. I'll fill out the remaining fields and continue adding variations until each size attribute has been accounted for. Variation attributes can be anything, size, color, weight, etc. If there is something unique that the customer needs an option for, this can be achieved by adding additional variation attributes to a product type. Next, I'll demonstrate adding recommended products through an entity reference field. All I need to do is start typing a product name and choose the one I want from the results that appear. Finally, I'll leave customer commenting open and save the new product. We're taken immediately to the product page as a customer would see it. We can see our size options are available to choose from. If I select one, the image refreshes. I uploaded the same image for each variation, but I could have used different images instead, which is handy for things like color. We can see the product long description and the customer reviews tab. Below is where the recommended product appears. If we added more, they would also appear here too. Let's go back to the top and click edit to go back to our editing screen. I'll add a little bit of content into the specifications field to activate it. This can be anything. Looking at the product variations, each currently has the same price. I'll open each one up and adjust this. Once we go back to the front end product page, this will show you how the product variation can change based on the customer selection. Finally, I'll remove our recommended product and save the changes. Back on the product page, let's look at how the product price changes. I'll click through the sizes. It changes. You can also see that our specifications tab is now visible and we can click on it to see the content. Below that, our recommended products have been removed. This concludes our demonstration. 
Drupal Commerce 2.x lets content creators and store managers easily add and update their store products.